Hey guys, it's Abby, and today I have a bunch of new makeup beauty products to show you guys that I have tried out and that I love, and um, some that I didn't because I just bought them and I haven't tried them yet, but I wanted to share with you guys what I've been obs currently obsessed with because there's some really good stuff that I love. Also, I've been obsessed with the app Yes Style. They have a website as well, but they also have an app. And you guys, I have been obsessed with K-Beauty, K-Beauty brands. Um, I've just been loving how natural and beautiful their makeup is and their whole their whole beauty vibe is just beautiful. So today I'm going to share with you guys some of my favorite products I've been using. And also some just new purchases that I've made. I hope you guys are doing really good. Anything new and interesting going on in your lives, let me know. I did just dye, well actually, I lightened my hair because I had dyed it so many times that my hair went back too dark. I'm wearing a hood so my hair keeps puffing out, but, and look how long it is, and I just got a cut. I can't believe how long my hair got. Anyway, I had to lighten my hair because I always dye my hair like a dark, it, like a dark brown or a light brown, depending on what I feel like, but there's always some red in it. But as you dye your hair, even if you're just doing your roots, your hair like hold on to some of the color and it gets darker and darker and darker every single time I dye it. So I lightened my hair. So when I went live with you guys the last time, my hair was lightened. And then I dyed my hair um, with a Madison Reed hair dye that I absolutely love. And this is the color right now. I wish that it stayed like this because I love this shade. But anyway, this is my new hair color. I also got a little bit of a haircut. Not much, but I did get a haircut so it's healthier because once you lighten your hair, it feels dead. Your hair just feels awful. So that's what's going on with me. <laughs> my my oldest daughter is taking her written driver's test and I'm panicking. I'm panicking. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird when your kids get older. It really is. Okay. So let's start talking about some of the products that I purchased recently so I can share with you guys some of my tried and trues. First, I want to talk to you guys about these eyelashes. Everything, okay, no, let me say this. Everything that I am going to share with you guys, I'm going to put in my description box. If it's from the same company, I will link the company's website and then I will um, write the name of the product as, or type the name of the product as well as the shade or whatever it is for you there because YouTube limits how much you put in your description box. And there's a lot of stuff in here, so I might not be able to fit everything, but if it is from the same company, just look underneath the link to the company's website and you'll see the actual product and the, um, the shade or whatever it is written underneath the link so you know what to type in when you get to the website. Okay, so first thing I want to show you are these lashes. These are from Yes Style. Yes Style has some of the most beautiful, natural, natural looking lashes, and I really like that. Now, today I went a little bit more dramatic than I usually do because I just felt like it, but these are beautiful for a very natural look, but you just want a little bit of lash. These are so, so pretty. These are the, it's a set of five and they're by Almo and they have a little bit of a flare at the end right here and they taper in right there, but they don't look fake. When I wear these, people can't tell I'm wearing eyelashes. Maybe because I've got my technique down where I can put them on pretty easily and well that they don't that they blend into my lash line but these are so beautiful they're so natural they they just they're just so pretty and I I can reuse these so the last pair that I use I think I reuse them three times to get multiple uses out of these lashes just make sure you clean them but clean them very carefully I have a eyelash a fake or this a false eyelash um, makeup remover um, and glue remover that I use with a q-tip. I'll dip it into the remover and then I gently just clean off my lashes. And also you want to find a place to store your already used lashes. If you have a good place to store your already lose your already used lashes, then they will they'll tend to last longer than just putting them on the counter or something like that. But anyway, these are beautiful. I'll link them in my description box. They're one of my favorite lashes I've ever ever purchased. Okay. Another product that I got from the Yes Style website is this. This is the Skin Food Peach Cotton Multi-Finishing Powder. You guys, I love this so much. And because 
I did my makeup with all of this makeup already in a box and getting ready for me to film. I didn't use this today and I can already see that I'm getting a little bit shiny, but you guys, this is so nice. First of all, it smells amazing. It smells like peaches and it is the softest and most invisible powder I have ever used ever. This is what it looks like right here. Again, I got this from Yes the Yes Style website. I'm obsessed with Yes Style. I've also purchased clothing and shoes from them. And when I tell you that their clothing is adorable, it is. Now, sometimes you have to be you have to read the reviews of what you purchase because sometimes just you have to read the reviews. I like to write reviews that are true to what I purchased regardless if it was good or bad. There are some sweaters that I purchased for my daughter for Christmas that she absolutely loves and wears them all the time. And then there's some leggings, that, no, not leggings, but there are some like workout sets which comes with a, um, a train, what is it? A, it comes with a sports bra and leggings and the sports bras are ridiculous. They have no, they, they are like, they just fit weird. They don't hold you in. They're just, they're awful. So it's like hit and miss. But when it comes to beauty, all I can say is I have been obsessed with this website when it comes to beauty and I love everything that I purchased. I don't think I've had one thing that I don't like from what I've purchased lately. So, but the clothing there, it's cute. And the shoes are cute too. I got a really cute pair of like Doc Martin looking Mary Jane shoes, obsessed and my daughter loves them. Okay. Anyway, here is the powder. You guys, this is amazing. It goes on so, it goes on so beautifully. It goes like, I don't, it's everywhere. I don't think I've ever had a powder that was this translucent, number one, and so soft and it just blends into your skin. I like to, if I feel like I'm getting a little bit oily during the day, I'll take a damp beauty blender and put some of the powder on there. I'll just dip it in there and I'll lightly pat it to my skin and it blends in. It like soaks into my natural skin oils and it mattifies my face, but it doesn't look cakey or dry. I use this for everything. I set my under eyes with it. Before I do an eyeshadow look, I'll put this on my on my eyes after I do like my concealer and stuff. I put it on my T-zone. It is absolutely amazing. I'm, I mean, I have never had a, tr a powder, a finishing powder that I've loved so much. This is amazing. Amazing. Again, it's the Skin Food Peach Cotton Multi Finish Powder. It's their newer version, but again, I'll link this one in my description box. You guys, if you like translucent powders, but you struggle with finding a, a good one, that is amazing. And the prices are so good and they're always having sales. Always, 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 always. What I have on my lips today is this. This is the Ink Velvet Number no. 2 Peri Para. Um, it's like a lip mousse. It's a moussey lipstick. It's comfortable, it wears really well, and they have so many different shades. I love these so much because they are so comfortable. They're beautiful. They're so, so beautiful. So this is in the shade Celeb Deep Rose, and it's just this really pretty red. I love it. It's like an orangey red. I am obsessed with these. Okay, I also have um, three more. Okay, so the other ones that I purchased were the Nude, and this is the Ink Velvet 27, and then the Ink Velvet 20, and this is in the shade Classy Plum Rose. I like all of them, um, honestly. This is more of a true red. The Classy Plum Rose, it's right here. It's really, really beautiful. You can also mix these together if you want. Mixing them makes a beautiful shade as well. They go well together. I mean, there's the same um, product, the same kind of lipstick. Now, this is a nude. Now, this one is a little bit too light for me. So what I like to do is I line my lips with a darker lip liner, and then I blend it in to my lips, like a little bit down. And then I'll put this in the center of my lips, and then like that. And it looks really pretty. Um, this is the Nude, and it's called Nude. That's it. But it's number 27. So I'll make sure to link the numbers and the name of the shade in my description box, but it'll only have one link. Does that make sense? Okay, so here is 
the nude right there and you guys it's beautiful it is it looks a little bit darker on my skin than it does on my lips but it's a beautiful beautiful shade then i purchased this one and this is the ink airy velvet and this is one of their newer this these came out before this one and this is kind of, this is very similar to this this one it's just a newer version and it's really beautiful i'm it's just like a thinner more blotted look if that makes sense like it's a this one looks more like a liquid lipstick it's thick it has full coverage where this is a more blotted look so it's a more gentle look than a lipstick and this one is in the shade peaches and it is right there and I love it I wear this a lot again I like to wear this with a deeper lip liner just to you know blend in with a deeper I like to put a lip liner on with this and then put this in the center and just kind of like blot it out beautiful 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 I love these so much they are a, they're like a liquid lipstick but better there's they're not drying they do transfer but I've never cared about transfer um they're not drying they wear pretty well and you can reapply them they don't get cakey or ball up or crack or anything because they're like a really beautiful cream product but this one the airy the airy velvet is more a blotted look so it's not like a full full coverage but it's a beautiful like just dimmed down blotted liquid lip and it's beautiful so we got that okay the next thing is this i've been obsessed with tints as well for my lips so this is from yes style as well this is the romand lip tint and it is in this shade current jam this is a matte tint i really like tints but i usually go for a glossy tint and then once the gloss is gone there leaves you with a tint on your lips this is like a this is a tint but it's a more matte so when you put it on it's a matte look and then when it disappears you still have the color so this is current jam and it's a matte tint like i just said and it's a beautiful red i love this when i first got this i wore this constantly and i didn't stop all I did was I just kept reapplying it because you can apply it over and over again and your lips stay this beautiful color. But if you want that deep, like juicy red, this is a this one's really good for that. Like not a juicy red because juicy kind of reminds you of like a shine. But this is more like a deep, like just a luscious, deep, velvety red. So, so pretty. I really like Roman products and and they're really, really good. You guys, they have so many good products. Again, I'll link it. The next one, this is a... Um, a lip tint, but this is one of the lip tints that's shiny. It's more glossy. And this is in the shade Berry Divine. And it's a beautiful shade. This is, um, it's right here. And it, this one's like that juicy tint that a lot of people go for. And it is not matte. It is shiny, like a gloss. And once the gloss goes away, like once it, like, you know, Gloss doesn't stay on your lips forever. It just leaves behind a beautiful shade. Um, I really like this one. I don't like this one as much as the matte because I don't think this one, the the tint staying power is as good as the matte ones, but I do like this. And you can reapply it as you want. It doesn't, again, it doesn't get super gloopy or anything like that. It does leave your lips with a different shade than your normal lip color, but it's not like a staying one like, like there's no staying power with it you do have a little tint for a little while but it does go away so i really like these again i really like roman products so if you are interested in any kind of lip tints yes style has so many and make sure you read the reviews but roman is a great brand um okay here is a fixing tint by etude and this is in the shade analog rose i really really like this as well this is more of like an orangey tint and this is a glossy tint as well. Again, here is the color. Now, this was the first time I tried an Etude, the company Etude or the brand Etude for their tints. This has more staying power than the Romand. So you can put this on and it's not as glossy as the Romand, but it has more staying power. And there is the shade right there. It's more orangey, but as you can see, I really like pinky red shades. So I wanted to mix it up just a little bit. Now I didn't mix it up too much, but still it's right there. And I'm obsessed. Ask my friend Marissa. Every single time I buy a new tint, I put it on my lips. We've been obsessed with tints for a while and I'm always showing her the new ones and we're putting them on and we're trying them out and we love them. Okay. I also purchased a lip liner because I just wanted to try the lip liners from Yes Style because I haven't tried many of them. And this is in this is by the company Misha, and it's a silky lasting lip pencil in the shade Coffee Berry. And um, 
it works like a lip liner. It's creamy and beautiful. It's not super dark. Oops, it's not super dark. It's right there. This is more for a blotted lip, um, which I've been like really in, like, I've been really into blotted lips lately. Really like this to fill in my entire lips. And then I add a little bit of gloss. This stays on your lips for a really long time, like super long. I technically you could use this as a lipstick. It stays on for a while. Um, but it's a, it's not a deep lip liner. It's more just like I said, it's a light blotted lip. Okay. And then I bought these two things from yes style. Okay. So these are from the company I'm meme or me, Mimi. It's I'm like I'm and then M E M E. And these are tints as well. They're the matte tints. I never tried these before until I just purchased them. I don't know the shades because I, they don't have them on here or it's in a different language and I can't, I cannot read it at all. Um, but I will link them in my, I'll get the links for them and limp, limp and link them in my description box. These are a regular doe foot applicator tint and these are mattes as well. And this one is like a really pretty nude shade right here. It's a deep nude. I really like these. Now, these are the first time of, I've never tried these before until I just purchased them with my last purchase. And um, I really like them. They're beautiful. They're creamy and just really comfortable. And they didn't have very many shades. So that's why I got these. Not that I don't like these shades. It's different. It puts me out of my comfort zone because I'm not like, I like berries and reds and pinks rather than um, like browns. But I really like them. They're very moussey. This reminds me kind of of these, except for you get less product. So here you go. They're right here. This one is this one. And this one is this one. Really pretty. I really like tints, as you can tell. So those are the products from Yes Style. I've been obsessed with them. So the next few things are stuff that I purchased on, um, that I just purchased. Like I was on Amazon or, um, I had a sale or something like that. So let's, let's do, oh, let's talk about this. This is called plump it. This is all over Instagram. There are tons of people doing TikToks of this, um, little Instagram reels, and it's a lip plumper. When I tell you that when I tried this, that I literally was bawling it, I have never felt something burn my lips so badly. And I love lip plumpers. I am somebody that loves feeling that sting on my lips and my lips turning bright red and my lips getting bigger and plumper. I love that, you guys. Too Faced Lip, in Too Faced lip Injection, it's not that hot to me. I, I, I'm fine with that. I can deal with that every day. I wake up every morning, put on my lips, I don't even bat an eye. This is, this is awful. This should have a warning. Um, I cannot imagine if somebody has children and if they leave this out and their child gets to it, it literally burns your lips. I mean, I have never felt something so painful in my entire life and I cannot believe they're selling this online and they're not telling people how bad it is. The TikToks that I've seen, they have not, of course they're like, oh, it burns, it burns, but they don't show that your eyes water, that your entire makeup that you're wearing just disappears because you're sweating. They don't tell you about the burns you get on your lips. They don't tell you how bad it hurts. Like think about the hottest pepper that you can purchase and then smear that all over your lips because it doesn't just go away. I tried it twice because I was like, maybe the first time was just, you know, I don't know, really hot. No, it was so bad. I mean, this is dangerous. This should not be something that they should be selling. Um, here is the top. This should have a warning on it. And all of the influencers that are sharing this should be ashamed of themselves. Sure. It plumps your lips. Of course it plumps your lips. It's burning your lips. You have burns all over your mouth. I mean, there's no way that that should be sold. It triples your lips because they are injured. So I had to put, I had to say something about that because that's freaking horrible. Okay. Uh, another brand that I tried out is the is the M Cosmetics brand. It's an influencer brand and I wanted to try out their new, their products that they put out. And this is one of their blotted lipsticks. You guys, I love this so much. I love the shade. It's one of my favorite lipstick shades I have worn in the past six months. It is so beautiful. Now they're a little bit pricey. I'll make sure to link them. Um, but I love it. You guys, I love the shade so much. This is in the shade. This is a, this is called soft spoken and the shade is intuition and it is so beautiful for real. There's the shade right there and it goes on your lips really soft. It's like a soft blotted lip, but you can build it up for it to look like a, um, 
a full coverage lipstick. It is soft, it is beautiful, it has staying power, and the color, I'm so glad I picked this shade because I wasn't sure because the shades looked a little weird for me. I thought, I wish they would have had more shades to choose from. They're a smaller brand, they're an influencer brand. Um, I wish they would have had more to choose from. So I chose this just because I was like, oh, well, that one looks okay. That might look good on me. This is probably one of the prettiest shades I've worn on me. It looks really pretty on me with my hair color, with my eye color, with my skin tone. It just looks really pretty, so I'm really glad that I chose this. Again, it's a soft spoken liquid lip and it is in the shade Intuition. I'll make sure to link it. It's an influencer brand and I love it. Um, hold on, I'll tell you who the influencer brand is. Um, it's Michelle Phan. It's Michelle Phan's brand. I was going to start trying out influencer brands with you guys and like let you guys see um like what their if their stuff is worth it or not and um I tried her lipstick as one of my first purchases from an influencer brand um that that wasn't like just one it's an influencer brand so I wanted to I was going to do a series trying out influ influencer brands and I just never got around to it and I love that it's so good I'll probably take this lipstick off and put that on um when I'm done okay I purchased two of the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks, Jaclyn Cosmetics lipsticks. These are in the shade Promised and Lip Locked. They are doe foot applicators and they're just liquid lipsticks. They're a soft liquid lipstick. They're not, they're not amazing or anything like that. They're okay. Um, yeah, they're okay. They're not bad. They're pretty. They're not, they're just not anything special, but they were on sale and I got them for super cheap, so... That's why I purchased them. Um, I wish I didn't, honestly. Okay, so this is Promised is right there. That's Promised. And then this is Lip Locked, and Lip Locked is right there. I really like Lip Locked. It's very, very pretty, but this is also really pretty. It's it's a lot lighter on your lips. It's more of like a pink color, but these aren't bad. I'm not mad at them. I just, I'm a little disappointed in Jaclyn Hill right now. Actually, I'm very disappointed in her. And um, sometimes... I get disappointed in myself for purchasing products from influencers that I don't feel have are um, a good influence, but sometimes I get caught up too. So I'm, you know, I bought them with my own money and I'm not upset. I'm just a little disappointed with myself. Okay. This is the Superstay Ink Crayon by Maybelline. And you guys, I love these so much. These stay on your lips forever. It's just a crayon for real. It's just a lipstick in a crayon, and this is one of my favorite shades. This is in the shade Speak Your Mind, and it is beautiful. It's beautiful. I wore this in my live stream last week or whenever I did the live stream, and it's super, super beautiful. I love it. It just, it's just perfect. It's such an easy, easy product to put on. You literally just open up a cap, put it all over your lips, and you're done. It is beautiful. It doesn't go in all your cracks on your lips. It makes your lips look luscious and beautiful and stays on forever. Love it. Okay, so I made a few purchases on Amazon, and these are the three that I will talk about. These are two lip liners by the um, company D-Roll, I don't know, D-Roll, D-E-R-O-L, and they are Inspiration Muse Velvet Matte Lip Liners, and I was reading reviews on these, and people said they were really good. They're not bad. They're a typical creamy lip liner that you can purchase. I, I mean... Yeah, they're not super expensive. They come with sharpeners on the bottom. And um, this one looks like this. And it's right here, right there. Don't mind my psoriasis, guys. My psoriasis has been acting up. And this is in the shade Whisper. And then we have the shade Fall Into, and looks like this. I actually saw these when I was buying lip plumpers and they have a lip plumper. It's a set. They have a morning and a night one, and I really like them. I think they're great. They don't burn the shit out of your mouth, but I think they're pretty good. And then I saw they had lip liners, so I purchased them. Okay, the next thing is this. This is the Queen of the Fill by Elizabeth Mott. I really love brow gels. I love when they have tiny little, um, tiny little brushes right here, and that they have a color that I can use, because I have lighter brown hair right now, but it's still like a deeper brown. But this, to me, this is lighter, but it's a deep brown. And then sometimes I have darker hair where it can look black. And sometimes black um, gel 
eyebrow gel can be a little bit too harsh for me and then if I get espresso it can still be a little bit too harsh so I'm always looking for the right brown because I don't want to have too dark of eyebrows but I don't want to have too light right now I don't have any brow gel in my hair in my eyebrows because I put it in the box and I just didn't use any today and um even this right here is a little bit too dark for me but this one I never tried Elizabeth Mott's eyebrow gel before and I really really like this it's a perfect um it's a perfect color or shade for my eyebrows and it stays on forever I had this in my eyebrows and I didn't wash my eyebrows off because I wanted to test how long this would be on this was on for like two days if I didn't wash my eyebrow spots like my eyebrows my actual eyebrows this would have stayed on forever for real this is in the shade medium dark and I like that they have a medium dark instead of like dark medium light they have a medium dark so I'm very very happy with this okay and the rest of the stuff is color pop okay so the first thing I purchased was the smoke and roses my friend Marissa told me that she thought I would really like this so I have been using it it's not what's on my eyes today what's on my eyes today is the urban decay heat palette you know like the orangey burk like the deep orange and brown palette I think it's the heat palette that's what's on my eyes so here is the palette the smoke and roses palette and um, this was the only thing that wasn't on sale this was I believe $35 and I really like it it's not bad I probably won't ever use this shade down here the darkest shade maybe for eyeliner or to buff out my lower lash line but I really like it so far I've enjoyed all of the shades that I've used I've used most of them except for these three and the shimmers are absolutely stunning um, I think the shimmers are what make this palette so good because you can have a shimmer for every eye look that you make. I think it's beautiful. I've been really enjoying it. I'm really glad that I purchased it. Oh, and also a little thing about me, um, why I like certain palettes, because I don't like having to dip into an, another palette while I'm using a palette. I'm one of those weirdos. So if I'm using a shimmer, um, I want the palette to have a shimmer that I'm going to use. Or if I'm using all mattes, I want them to have all the mattes that I need to use. And I don't like when palettes don't have a cream shade or a white shade because I always start out every eye look with a cream or white shadow because it just, to me, it makes the shadows blend better when I have something down. And they have that. They have two. They have a cool toned one and they also have a warm toned one. And that's what made me purchase this palette. Not only the not just that but I mean the other colors as well but I was happy that they had that okay this is the boss witch um faux lashes and I just picked these because I thought they were really pretty they're um as natural as these are more natural looking than the other ones that they had and these were four dollars and fifty cents so got myself some lashes I really like them they're kind of like the ones I'm wearing today and then, oh my gosh, you guys, I broke out for the first time in so long. I have like this gigantic pimple on the top of my nose and it hurts. You guys, this is one of my favorite little quads. You guys, I don't know if you guys remember because I do this all the time. And any unboxing that I do for any subscription box, whenever I get a quad, I'm like, oh, I'll never use it. I hate quads. You guys, I use this almost every day, for real. If I'm just doing a real quick everyday makeup look, I use this. I don't use any shimmer. I just use these and I love it. This is such a, I mean... I have made so many beautiful eye looks with just this little eyeshadow palette. Um, it looks like this. And the shades are um, Just Flower, Easy Does It, Breezy, and No Curses. And you guys, it's a perfect... It's a perfect palette. It has the cream shade I can start with. Then I deepen up my creases with this. And then I do this to deepen out the outer crease. And then I put the darkest one on my bottom lash line and I'm done. I love an all matte eyeshadow look. And you guys, I've been obsessed with this. I still can't believe that I love a eyeshadow quad, but I grab this more than I grab for anything else with my eyeshadow. I love this so much. I think it's fantastic. And the eyeshadows work amazing. If, if they didn't work amazing, I wouldn't be pulling it out so much and using it. But I really, really like this. Okay, um, then I got the ColourPop Press Powder Blush. I thought this was a bronzer, so there's that. <laughs> I thought this was a bronzer, and it looks like this. It's in the shade Jet Set, and it looks like a bronzer. So I've been using it as a bronzer, and it's nice. I mean, it's not right there it's not bad it's a it's a really pretty bronzer it has a little bit of a shimmer to it so you get a little bit of a glow okay 
Then we have some lippy sticks. We have the Ultra Blotted Lip, and I really like this. This is in the shade shook. I actually really like the ultra blotted liquid lips. I thought they were a great formula. They were the first liquid lip that I used that wasn't um, super drying and it didn't feel heavy on my lips and I love them. I was obsessed, but they, I think they discontinue them or they're not making them anymore. I'm not really sure because I couldn't find any good shades. There was like three of them left, but they do have an ultra blotted lip lippy. And this looks like this. And this is more of like a just a touch of color. It's not much of anything. It's like a balm right there. It's more of a blotted look, which of course this is an ultra blotted lip, so that's why. But this is really good just if you want just a little pop of color on your lips, but nothing too heavy. Really like it. Um, then I have these two lippy sticks and these are the shades. Um, oh, I love this. It's a matte and Byron, Byron Babe right here. And these are just lippy sticks. That's what they're called. Lippy sticks. I like the packaging. I think they're really cute. It's got like a little spiral going on right here. And, um, we have a bright like magenta pink and that is right there. And then we have this and this is, um, Byron babe. And this is more of a, I don't know. I don't know what that shade is, but it's beautiful. I love it and I wear it a lot. So we got these. These are just lipsticks. They're just lipsticks in a lippy stick form. Pretty good. Okay, then I got these. I haven't used these let yet, but these are the Lux Velvet lipsticks. I'm thinking that they might remind me of these, but I don't know. This is in the shade Air Kiss. Now I'm not gonna open these yet because once you open them, you're gonna have to keep using them. But here is this one right here. This is in the shade um, Air Kiss really pretty. And then we have the shade. It's a banger. It's a banger. And it looks like this. I got more of the, you guys, they look so similar. Can you see a difference? Cause I can't. <laughs> and then we have this right here and this is a sex appeal cream Lux lipstick and lippy pencil. I haven't used these yet either. So we have a red lippy pencil, which I was needing a red um, lip liner. That's why I got it. So we have that. And then we have this lipstick. And again, this is in sex appeal and it's a red. And we have that one right there. So we have a nice red, deep red shade, super excited. And then the last but not least is this. And this is just one of those little palettes. This was on sale. I think it's still on sale. And I love this because it kind of reminds me of spring, but it's still, you can wear it for any season. And it's called the Daisy Does It. And it's just perfect because I love all these shades. <laughs> right here. We have peach and a like a deeper peach and a yellow for a pop of color. We have a shimmer. We have four shimmers and then nope, one, two, three, four. We have five shimmers. We have a satin and then we have mattes. I just thought this was perfect. And you guys know I like colors like this. I like browns. This is more of a green, like a khaki green, but I think that would look really pretty on. And then for the yellow, you could put like a yellow pop in your in your inner corner. Um, remember when people were doing that? Everyone was obsessed with the yellow pop of color. I just thought this was really pretty. And the matte, I mean, the shimmers are absolutely stunning. Like they really are. They're just stunning shimmers. So I really like it. I'm excited to use it. I haven't used it yet, so I'm very excited to try it. So all right, guys, that is everything that I've purchased in the last few months. I'll make sure to link everything in my description box. Again, if it's from the same website, I'll just um, link the shades and the product for you so you know what to look for. And um, if you were to pick one thing out of this whole entire thing, what would you pick? Let me know. Are any of you guys obsessed with lip tints right now? I am. I love lip tints so much. I want to wear all of them. I want all of them. And if I could buy all of them, I would. Check out Yes Style for sure. Check it out. Um, really good deals. They're always having sales. They have really good prices on stuff, even when there's not a sale. And they have so much beauty. I mean, they have so many beauty products, so many skincare, makeup, um, household stuff. They have hair ties and washcloths and anything you can possibly imagine. Yes Style has it. And I've been obsessed with them for a while. And not only that, but you can get their app and put your like PayPal in there or any way you pay. And it's like, a you don't have to do like a three thing checkout, you know, where you 
choose what you want to check out with and you have to do this and you have to do that and you have to do this and then you can finally check out it's like a one and done and i love that because i just do i have no regrets usually when i just can just one if i had to do like a four step checkout i'm usually regretting what i'm buying by the fourth by the fourth step and then i'm like i don't want anything which is maybe but should be better but you know. Anyway, you guys, if you're going to buy anything, buy this. This is amazing. It smells really good. Also, if it gets in your mouth, it tastes really good too. So I don't know if you should be eating it, but sometimes translucent powder just fluffs up in the sky and it falls down. At least it tastes good, right? But love this so much. Probably one of my favorite buys. And so the ink velvets, but the airy velvet is really pretty too. It's more of a, like a blotted lipstick, super beautiful. And the Romand, I could go on forever and I'm going to go because I will go on forever. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I love you guys so, so much. Let me know what your favorite product was. Let me know if you tried anything and uh, check out my description box if you're interested in any of the products. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are doing really, really good. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.